Okay, folks, so we are here looking at Retail Management Hero again. Reason being is I kind of blew through the last video pretty quickly because it was my first look at a full functioning version. So we're going to take a little more time today to, uh, to look at Retail Management Hero, which is basically the new version of the very popular Microsoft RMS point-of-sale software. I want to do this not just for the RMS users who are upgrading, but also for folks who are searching for a point-of-sale system because this is a very popular and very affordable solution for a retail point-of-sale. I'm running this on a Surface Pro 4, uh, which shows that it works great with touch screens, uh, but you don't have to. You can still use keyboard, function keys, mouse, barcode scanner, all the usual stuff. I guess the other item of note is as I've delved into the software deeper because I'm preparing to uh, upgrade uh, at least five stores here fairly quickly from RMS to RMH, I'm going to try to point out some things that mm, not missing, but some folks using RMS might be used to or some things that might be happening with the new version. So let's first, let's just do what I normally like to do, and that's just a quick transaction. So if you're a business that tracks the customers, we can use the F7 key, or we can use our touch screen to look up a customer. We'll select myself. Obviously, if they have a swipe, their preferred card, etc., loyalty card, you can do that. Uh, we'll scan our item, the add to the transaction, and then if it's just a standard sale, we can hit the F12 key, or we can use our keyboard, our mouse, or a touch screen, and we can tender the sale. So it makes it uh, extremely simple and extremely easy to, uh, to go through it. So let's go back to where we were here and show some of the more in-depth features. Um, Obviously, when we're tracking customer information, it pops up with some of the basic information about that customer. When we have items here on the screen, we have some action buttons as far as you know, removing it, if it needs to have a sales rep for commission reasons, changing the tax, discount options. I won't get too far in depth, otherwise we'll be here for about four hours straight. Um, <laughs> With some little icons here, you know, if we want to put something on hold, sale, how we want to arrange if we have multiple items on the transaction window here, and if we have any roll-up options. One thing I'm waiting for them to kind of fix or update or let us know what we need to do to customize is these custom commands area. This would be like if you're a museum where you have admissions, uh, maybe a golf pro shop where you have green fees, uh, you know, anything, or even convenience store, you know, hot dogs, donuts, stuff like that, where we would have touchscreen buttons or mouse and buttons to use to do stuff that is not barcoded. I mean, you can always have your little three ring binder with your various barcodes, uh, which I still see quite a bit, but sometimes it's nice, you know, since this works on a touch screen, to have that touch screen buttons for those non-barcoded items. So again, hitting the highlight highlights, we've got some various options related to the items. There's some various options related to the customer. A little bit on taxes, some things related to uh, the transaction itself. You can see there's there's a lot of things that our RMH can do, and again, it can get very in depth. And it's kind of just knowing what's good for your business, what you need. Um, you know, like I know I have a lot of folks that use quotes and work orders and layaways which is great, you know, if you think you do anything with, um, you know, service, customization, labor, stuff like that, uh, work orders work great. 
We have some flexible discounting options. And then over here, we kind of have just our general operations, which is nice. It still does the cash drops and the payouts like it did before. Uh, and of course, our standard go back to our days of cash registers uh, with our X and our Z reports. So that's that. Uh, the other little button you might see here is the keyboard. So if you are using just a touchscreen device and do not have a keyboard, then it will pop up a keyboard. I don't think that's a very, personally, I don't think that's super effective. Definitely it works, but if you're going to need a keyboard, you're better off just to have a, a keyboard, even if you are using a touchscreen. So let's go over to the manager module here and take a look at just again hitting the highlights so rms users you're probably used to having all the stuff across the top and pull down now we're more so things are along the side and we expand from there so we have our list of our items different things we can do related to like different item messages setting up our departments our categories our discounts if we want to limit purchases uh, for doing our labels and things like that. So that's our merchandising tab. Go down to our customer. This is where we can set up things like the different uh, customer lists. Things to do with the billing cycle, which I better not do because I don't want it to print a bunch of statements. <laughs> and there's some flexibility to how you, you set up different accounts. Uh, again, according to your business needs. We have our inventory purchasing. That's where we get into our suppliers, our purchase orders, uh, transferring items in, transferring items out, requisitions, invoices, credits, our offline inventory, history for purchase orders, and then uh, you know more things to do with receipts, invoices, and credit notes. Next tab is tools. That's pretty basic, just backing up the database and our label designer. We have our setup. Now this one then kind of uses uh, almost like a Windows Explorer type interface, like when you're looking at the, the hard drive on your computer and you can expand it to see like your documents and images and videos and things like that. So then we have where we can expand it to kind of get into more depth and let's see we'll look at some examples so we have like our cashier set up our sales representatives you can set up your password policy how you want it to uh, expire or things like that uh, we have some setup for our shipping methods and again I'm just kind of hitting the highlights to not go too far in depth uh, type of charges, our financial data like taxes and sales tax and tender types, our customer information like our accounts receivables, different types of groups we might set up for that. Of course the hardware we're using, full displays and receipt formats and things like that. Uh, and even RMS users will recognize the custom fields where you can kind of have your own custom data to track uh, common things would be like a pet's name or the customer's birthday, things like that. And of course we have our reporting option. And I have to close out of this and go into reports. And again, we kind of use this expandable menu. And the reports fairly similar to what you saw in RMS layout and the way the reports are generated and then of course all our options for like exporting and saving and memorizing and things like that so that's kind of an overview I do want to extend an offer since that went through things pretty quickly to go ahead and reach out to me using the contact information in the video description and we can definitely set up a more in-depth video um, 
if I am not able to do it, I can put you in touch with someone who can. And also keep in mind, I do travel extensively. So who knows, I might be in your area and we can meet in person. Thanks.